Welcome back to the Bobby King Iraqi Dinar News. I'm your host, Bobby King, coming to you from Iraq. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and support the channel. There's a lot of exciting content on the way. Today, we're diving into some major updates straight from Prime Minister Al Sadani. He's just announced that we're in the final phase of the hydrocarbon law, and as we know, the HCL requires a rate. As I've always said, if the Iraqi dinar is going to increase in value, it will be driven by Iraq's economic success. And that's exactly the path Iraq is on. Stay tuned, everyone. Let's get started. In recent weeks, Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sadani has made significant statements regarding the hydrocarbon law and its implications for the Iraqi economy and currency. With the announcement that Iraq is in the completion phase of the HCL, discussions surrounding the necessary exchange rate adjustments for the Iraqi dinar have intensified. This article explores the implications of al Sadani's remarks the anticipated changes in payment methods, and the broader economic context that could influence the dinar's revaluation. The hydrocarbon law and its importance The hydrocarbon law is critical for Iraq's economic framework, particularly given the country's reliance on oil revenues. The HCL aims to regulate the management of Iraq's oil and gas resources, ensuring equitable distribution of revenues among various regions and stakeholders. Successful implementation of the HCL is expected to provide a stable financial foundation, enabling further economic development and attracting foreign investment. al Sadani's announcement signals that the government is taking concrete steps to finalize this crucial legislation. A completed HCL would not only streamline revenue distribution but also potentially stabilize and enhance the value of the Iraqi dinar. The need for a new exchange rate central to the discussions about the HCL is the need for a new exchange rate for the Iraqi dinar. Current unofficial estimates place the exchange rate at approximately 1,310 dinars per US dollar. However, this rate is considered to be artificially suppressed due to various economic factors, including ongoing inflation and restrictions in the financial system. The Prime Minister's emphasis on electronic payments rather than cash transactions raises important questions. Electronic cards, which could be linked to a new exchange rate, may provide a mechanism for the government to manage currency supply more effectively. If payments are executed through electronic means, it is likely they will be calculated at a more favorable rate, reflecting the actual economic conditions rather than the constrained program rate. Electronic payments and economic modernization al Sadani's statement about using electronic cards instead of cash suggests a shift toward a more modern financial system in Iraq. The move to electronic transactions is not merely a logistical adjustment. It symbolizes an intent to improve transparency, reduce corruption, and streamline economic processes. Experts have noted that an electronic payment system can facilitate quicker and more efficient distribution of funds. With the implementation of such systems, it becomes easier for the government to introduce a new, more market-aligned exchange rate, which many believe is essential for the dinar's appreciation. The path to currency revaluation The notion that the Iraqi dinar could be revalued soon is a hot topic among analysts and investors. As one source noted, if the dinar is ever going to go up in value, it will be based on Iraq's economic success. This sentiment is echoed by various economic analysts who assert that the dinar's future value is intricately linked to the overall health of Iraq's economy. Economic success as a catalyst for revaluation Historically, currency valuation has been closely tied to a nation's economic performance. For Iraq, this means that as the government takes steps to complete the HCL, the broader economic indicators, such as GDP growth, foreign investment levels, and public spending, will play pivotal roles in determining the dinar's value. Recent data indicates that Iraq is experiencing economic growth, driven primarily by rising oil prices and an increase in production levels. If these trends continue, they could provide the necessary foundation for a successful currency revaluation. The next 10 days. Anticipation of change with the government signaling that significant changes are forthcoming. Many experts are optimistic about the potential for a revaluation in the near future. Some sources indicate that the next 10 days could be crucial, with a strong possibility that the dinar's new exchange rate will be announced shortly. 
The confluence of the HCL's completion and the modernization of the payment system could catalyze this change. Iraq is at a critical juncture in its economic journey. With Prime Minister al Sadani's confirmation of the HCL's completion phase and the shift towards electronic payments, the conditions for a potential revaluation of the Iraqi dinar appear to be coalescing. While uncertainties remain, the general consensus among analysts is that Iraq's economic progress will ultimately dictate the value of its currency. As developments unfold in the coming days, stakeholders will be closely watching for signs of a new exchange rate that could signal a brighter economic future for Iraq and its citizens. The path forward is not without challenges, but the optimism surrounding Iraq's economic policies and reforms provides a hopeful outlook for the future of the Iraqi dinar. As the nation moves towards a more stable and transparent financial system, the prospect of an increased dinar value appears more attainable than ever. In closing, I want to encourage all my friends watching to stay positive and patient. Remember, patience is the key to success. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and support me on this journey. Wishing you all an amazing day, and thank you for watching.